In this video, I would like to show you how you can view the same file in two different windows and why you might want to do this. Now note my file is called demo.psd. Let's go up to Window, Arrange, and choose New Window for demo.psd. Now a second tab has showed up just here. When I click on it, everything looks identical because of course we are just seeing a second view of the same file. Now let's get back up to Window, Arrange, and let's choose Two Up Vertical. Now this is even clearer what's going on. Again, two views of the same file. We can see demo.psd up here and here. Now why would we even bother doing this? Well, I'm going to keep the view on the right just here, exactly as it is. It's a nice bird's eye view of the entire composition. Now the left view just here, I'm going to zoom in nice and tight on this petal just here, which corresponds of course to this little petal just down here. Now I'm going to go and click on the retouching layer to target it, pressing B to bring up the brush tool, D for my default colors, giving me black as the foreground color. I'm going to change my brush size. If you're interested in how I did that, check out this other video. And now I'm just going to start painting in here. And when I do, every time I release the mouse, you can see that change show up just down here. So let me quickly finish this off. It's a little rough, I know, guys, but you get the idea. And there we go. So the petal's gone over here and over here. Now coming back up to the Layers panel, I'm going to toggle off the visibility of the retouching layer, and you see it comes back in both. Let me toggle that off and on a couple of times. So I hope you're getting a good feel, guys, for why this is potentially a very powerful technique. You maintain the bird's eye view just over here, while simultaneously doing some nice close-up fine work just over here. Now note, guys, up on the tab, there's this little star symbol just here and here. That's Photoshop's way of letting you know there are unsaved changes in this file. Now I'm going to press Command or Control S just now. Notice it did a quick save on both versions of the file. Well, let me rephrase, on both views of the same one file. So the little star has gone, and I could even close up one of these files just now, leaving me with just a single view of this one file, which is basically just the normal way we would view a file. So I hope this gives you some interesting ideas on how you may change your editing techniques in the future here inside of Photoshop. I hope that helped. Catch you later.